Welcome to our presentation on web proxy servers. In this video, we will discuss what a web proxy is, the importance of this tool, and explain how we can improve on this design. A web proxy is an application or computer system that acts as the middleman for our client. It takes the client's request, compares it to its filtering rules, and then applies new header information to the packets so it can send them out. This tool is important to network security because it protects one's internal network from outside attacks and malware. An attacker cannot see inside of the network past the proxy, and if they do attack, there will be no harm to the internal network. It can also protect the network from data leakage. It can examine packets coming from within the network for patterns or formats that generally contain sensitive information and prevent that information from getting out. In our design, we created a transparent proxy using the software Squid on CentOS connected to the internet on the outside and a web server on the inside. We tested out different scenarios that could occur with our design and show our results of those tests. Here's where we're going to show you a visual representation of the simulation that we did. This guy here is the client. He'll be trying to get to one of the websites on the web server. This guy here is the transparent proxy. He'll be the one who is pretending to be the web server so the client will never know who the actual web server is. This guy here is the actual web server with the website and all the important data on it. Here is where the magic happens. What happens is the transparent proxy server takes the request from the client, looks at the request, notices the request is an HTTP request, then translates the header of the packet to the destination of the actual web server's IP address. And then the proxy server moves the packet along to the web server. Here we're going to be simulating an attack. This guy right here is the attacker. He will be attacking the web server, or what he thinks is the web server, which is actually going to be the proxy server. Alright, so here we go. The attacker goes and types in the uh, website's address to make sure the website is currently up. As you can see, the website is up. We'll be showing the website on that computer display. Now, while on the bottom you can see all the traffic that's happening between the attacker and the proxy server, which the attacker thinks the proxy server is actually the web server. So as he does some ping requests to make sure the web server is there, he then begins his attack. As you can see from the visual representation, he's throwing stuff at him to represent an attack. Down in the packet, the Wireshark capture, you can see the amount of traffic being sent trying to do a DDoS attack to the web server. As you can see, the attacker has won, but didn't actually take down what he wanted to take down. So far you have seen how a web proxy server works, however a proxy server isn't perfect. As you saw from the previous scene, they are still vulnerable to attack. And if a proxy server goes down, the web server loses its only connection to the internet. This leads to a second problem. Our configuration had no redundancy for when the web proxy went down. If no system is in place when a situation like that occurs, the whole network behind the proxy would be inaccessible from the internet and vice versa. To counterattack these problems, you could create fallback connections for the proxy in case it does go down and place a firewall in front of it to increase its protection against incoming attacks. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that you've learned something new from this.